What's up everyone? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be explaining the top 5 tricks and tips into becoming a better Dragon Ball Z artist. The first step is always practice sketches. So practice sketches, you sketch out the character as best as you can and after you look at your practice sketch, you see your strengths and the weaknesses of that drawing that you drew. So say if your strength is drawing the whole entire body correctly, but you have a hard time, you know, drawing the face or the hair. Instead of trying to focus on the whole entire picture, if you can draw the body already super well, then just worry about drawing just the head part. Just worry about drawing the head and the face over and over until you feel confident enough to do, you know, your improved sketch or perfect sketch, whatever you want to call it. Now, the second step. Now, say if you're a digital drawer and say, you know, there's one little mess up line of your digital drawing. Don't get discouraged about that. Just use it as your practice sketch, right? And usually what I do is, I usually look at a picture on the side, and I see what I did wrong. And I try my best in order to fix it. So what you do is, you do that same sketch again, and you see what you did wrong. So say if it's a little line that was curved a bit, try to make it more straighter. Instead of focusing on making it so detailed, Focus on the errors in the picture. If you see that there's one little line that's not connected to the picture, connect it. Connect it as best as you can to get the full-on picture. If you can do that, I'm, I'm telling you, you'll have no problem doing digital drawing. But the thing is, you can't just always worry about the detail. So you have to worry about the errors in your picture as well. That's the thing. So if you mess up on the air, you get disappointed. Instead of having to redo the whole picture, just erase that one little area and fix it. Now, the third thing is, say if you're an animator that, uh, you know, that does animations on a tablet, iPad, phone, God, who knows what. Instead of trying to use your finger to draw everything, get some type of stylus pen. It will help you 10 times more to improve your drawing. Look at YouTube videos on how to work the stylus pen. Get used to it first before drawing something. And step four, if you're a hand drawn on person, like you free draw on paper, right? Instead of, you know, getting upset because you can't get a certain detail in the character, right? Here's a little trick. Step, let me see, I said step one and step two. Step three, this is what you gotta do. For step three, when it comes to drawing these characters, believe it or not, if you look at every character, they have some type of shape. If you can remember exactly what shape you need in order to draw that character, you'll have no problem at all creating the character as long as you remember the patterns. Now, step four, which is the fourth thing that can help you. After you realize what shapes you need for that character, you have to imagine something. For example, Goku's hair is basically triangles, right? So now what you have to try to do is you need to think of an object or item that will remind you of how the hair is going to look and how it should come out. So for example, what Goku's hair reminds me of is literally um, sharks. Uh, what are they? Oh, yeah. Shark fins. That's exactly what Goku's hair reminds me of. So if you can do that, you'll have no problem drawing his hair. 
But that's the key. Those are the four keys that you need. Now, the fifth thing. Once you figure that all out, instead of getting discouraged about how the picture came out, look at it and say, all I need to do is resketch this and improve. And here's another thing. Not everyone's going to remember a character inside their head how to draw them. It's okay if you need to look at an image, like a reference, and to draw the character. There's nothing wrong with that. People really shouldn't beat you up about Because not many people can just remember a DMZ character inside their head and be like, Okay, I'm going to draw from the top of my head. Look at a picture, see how it should turn out, and it'll help you in the long run. Trust me, if you guys do these five steps, I guarantee you this is maybe going to at least improve your drawing or digital skills at least 50% more. I guarantee you. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please subscribe, like, and comment. Peace out, everyone, and see you in the next video.